Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for iPhoneS.com. Today I'm covering four applications you can use to write and learn JavaScript on your iPhone and iPad. JavaScript is a very important technology for web development. If you know it well, if you know the libraries well, there's always a job out there for you. A lot of website webmasters rely on JavaScript to bring effects and all kinds of cool features to their websites, jQuery, prototype, all these different libraries are very important to know, but not everyone is a master in JavaScript and you are going to have, you, you're going to have to start somewhere. Whether you're a beginner or you, an advanced user just wanting to try applications on your iPhone and iPad, there are apps out there for you. The first one, which is my favorite is Kodiak JS. It's First of all, it has 50 plus libraries and frameworks you can take advantage of. As you can see, if I can show it to you right here, the libraries that are available, Bootstrap, Dojo, UI, Mobile, Transit, so all the important ones I wouldn't say all, but the m more popular ones are available here, prototype. And you can just go and try different applications. You can create new app fi files and folders. So you get a file manager, you get a um, examples to choose from. You get syntax highlighting, which is very important. You get an enhanced keyboard so you can enter your information faster. So if I want to type something, you get the enhanced keyboard right there. So 50 plus libraries. You also get the ability to see exactly how the code is going to react or perform once you're done. So you get multiple themes as well. So that's the first application. Textastic is another awesome code editor for iPad and Unlike the other one, this is actually more of a general code editor for PHP, for Objective-C, C++. It's compatible with TextMate syntax. It supports FTP, SFTP, things like that. So you can play around with your code. It's compatible with iCloud. Let's say you have your Java code, syntax highlighting, enhanced keyboard so you can play around with it, sharing, file properties, so on and so forth. So this is a one of the best text editors and code editors that we've tested. We've done a more complete review of it and it's not more complete but it covers more features of this application and what you can get out of it. So I do encourage you to check that out. But as far as code editors go, this is one of the best ones. We, all, we have listed a bunch of other code editors on our websites. So I do encourage you to go and check those out as well. But Textastic is pretty awesome in that regard. Now, once you get the coding part right, as far as the code editor part, is concerned. You you probably gonna need some training and JavaScript fundamentals it's for beginners. It has videos you can use to learn. So you get different programs, training programs for different JavaScript topics. You can understand how to write code, how to use different libraries in your code, and these are all free to download. So that's very important, especially if you're just learning and don't have time to maybe read the book, read your book all the time or books. Usually you have to read multiple books to master JavaScript and maybe attend a class or go online and check information, blogs, and things like that. But this application provides you with free training. Obviously, it's ad-supported. That's not important. What's important is you can learn something on your iPad on the go. Quick Guide is a lot of people are not a fan of 
applications like this because they don't want to pay for a guide for JavaScript within the there's a lot of information available online as far as websites you can use. I personally like this approach a little bit better because first of all, it's very cheap and it provides you with a reference on your iPad. So you always have it even when you don't feel like going and searching for a blog. You always have the examples and simple information on JavaScript. So let's say you haven't done JavaScript programming for a while and you just want to learn how to write a function, for instance, or how to use something, some method, how, what's the format of, or what's the syntax, the right way to use it. And this application has you covered and provides you with the example, the property form. It could be more complete. I've seen more complete documents online, but based on what you get as a quick reference, this does the job and shows you the browser support and things like that. So, and you want to master that. If you're writing JavaScript code, you want your code to be compatible with as many browsers, modern browsers, especially new ones as possible. So you have to be pretty sure what you're doing is going to work the way you think it's going to work. So, and if let's say the latest version of Chrome or Firefox doesn't support what you're doing or your code breaks or whatever happens, then it's going to be big, big trouble, whether you're working for yourself or working for someone else and applications like this, help you. So if I were to get one of these, I would definitely get Kodiak.js. It's pretty decent. Examples were awesome. It has so many libraries, so many different ways to learn. You go through the code, you write code and mo multiple tabs. You can order your code. And it covers some serious material as far as the examples are, are concerned. So you learn quickly, especially if you know programming and I've done in the past and go through the code, see, okay, this is HTML. This is a function. You're attaching an event to your button. You're invoking a function based on an event. So you go and test it, see how it works, play around with the code. And you go from there, Textastic for reviewing your code, quick guide for quickly looking up function information and JavaScript fundamentals for video training. I hope you enjoyed this short video on JavaScript apps you can use on your iPad to learn and code JavaScript. If you have found better ones, please include them in the comment section. Just write to us on iPhoneist.com and we'll definitely cover your suggestions, whether it's one or multiple in the future. Thanks again for watching, guys.